that I um, identify and try to diagnose, if you will, this new type of socialism, identity socialism, which is a marriage of classic socialism and identity politics. So think of classic socialism as essentially a strategy of Marxian division between the rich and the poor, loosely speaking. It's a class divide. Well, uh, for the modern American uh, socialist left, the divide in society is that, but it's not just that. It's also a race divide, black against white. It's a gender divide, male against female. It's a sexual orientation divide, straight against gay. Uh, and transgender, and it's also an immigration divide, legal against illegal. So one may say that while Marx was trying to carve up society just into two groups, the left is trying to slice American society into many different, um, in many, across many different lines. Now, why are they doing this? They're doing this because they think that if we divide society in these eight different ways, we can assemble a majority coalition of aggrieved victim groups that, come, that can come together and then sort of take on everybody else. So they're trying to get to 51% in the firm belief that democracy itself will then legitimize them looting and oppressing the other 49%. This is what they call democratic socialism. To me, it's a form of gangsterism.